how's it going? I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm actually, I'm just about to head out to the WeWork a bit later in the day and got some meetings and some work to do. And then this tonight I'm going to a like coding meetup downtown. I think it's by Vancouver.dev and it's all about vibe coding, which I know is a contentious word at the moment, but it's a while since I've been to like a coding event and a meetup, so it'd be really good to get out and to do that. And also see how people are building things. So I think the whole point of it is to build. There's a bit of a talk and that, and then um, it's just building for the evening and coming up with ideas, and then you can like present your idea at the end. So we're gonna be filming that and kind of keeping up with it. It'd be a cool little insight and see what's going on. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna head out now, it's a bit of an overcast day, and then, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. I'll bring you along for the journey. All right, so I've just left the WeWork to a pretty big day and I'm just heading to this event now, which is the, I think it's called the Solo Vibe Coding Hackathon thing, which is going to be cool downtown and then, yeah, I'm going to see how that goes and give, give it a good while. It's actually a nice day for once as well, so that's good. Okay, so I've just left the hackathon. That was good fun. I pizza, but I just realised I've had pizza for dinner and lunch today. So I'm gonna get back in the gym. Um, really good. I'll do like a proper rundown of it, or like my thoughts on it. But it was really cool to see. I think like there wasn't that many devs there. A lot of people were designers, product people, or just people who were getting into it. And I think it's really good to see. So many different people um, getting into coding. It's more accessible than it once was. And although a lot of devs, I think, 
maybe don't like that. I think it's good in general. More tools and things for us to build. What the hell? Out of breath, gonna feel. Anyway, I'll do a proper rundown of it when I'm back. Thank you. And yeah, back at home, I need a cup of tea. So it was a, it's the day after the, the hackathon, um, which was really good, it was fun. Um, and I just thought I'd give my overall thoughts about it and kind of how it was. I think because the focus of it was live coding, it'll probably get a bit of a bad rap. And I think the whole idea does get a bit of a bad rap, but I'm choosing to look at it in a different way. I think it's great that so many people can get into coding and it's more accessible or even just if you have an idea to be able to see it come somewhat to life it doesn't matter if it's not all the bells and whistles and everything works properly it's just so much more accessible and we can laugh at people when they try and share their local host site but the fact is i think a lot of us are quite protective over programming and you know we've put a lot of blood sweat and tears into it and to learn the, the trade and the skill and i think we sometimes get our back up about it but from my point of view i think it's really good that speeds us up and it allows people to, to try something and to, to get stuck into it. I don't think it's going to replace jobs to that extent, but it's an interesting one for sure. Who knows? We don't know where we're going to get to. So the actual event itself was downtown Vancouver in the KPMG Ignite or Ignition Labs, I think it was, which was cool. I would say apart from the mentors and the a few students, uh, it was around 80% designers product people or just those that wanted to code or had ideas, which was pretty cool. Um, it wasn't so much a, a hackathon, more of a get together to discuss the tools they use and how they add it into their workflow and kind of just jam with people and, and build some cool stuff. Uh, we had a couple of people, they did talks and things and how they use it. Um, there was a cool one from Defang it was an M MCP server which allowed you to launch your project directly to, I think it was an EC2 instance from VS Code, which was pretty cool. So for those that are learning and kind of not sure how to deploy things, you can do that uh, with this tool, which I'll link in the, the description. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was just cool to talk with devs and people interested in coding and designing and just network and... I haven't done it in a while and it was a really good a really good thing i got to help a few people out set up projects and how to improve prompts and use llms in a productive way for coding and not just kind of throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks so that was kind of unexpected and again i, I met some really cool people networked with them and it just yeah it goes to show again that oh, it goes to show again that networking is just <laughs> it always comes back around to that and as a freelancer, I think it's pretty key to do that. But overall, I think the community was the best part of it. I actually built a, like a trend forecasting app and just like called Go Ham, just went full send um, with a really built out prompt. And I used the Anthropic prompt enhancer to really build it out and uh, put really specific instructions in my Claude MD file. And it actually did pretty well. I ended up making a, it was like a trend forecasting app, but with a chat bot that allowed indie hackers or small businesses to what's currently trending and try and build products around that so maybe i'll um maybe i'll launch it and just see if anyone wants to use it it was a pretty fun project and i would say like 80 percent of the code was written by Claude, um and it worked pretty well it was using next yeah, so nothing crazy but it's just so easy it was, probably, it was probably overkill but just easy to get up and running quickly and i had some prompts previously that i'd used so it works pretty well so yeah as much as i probably don't like vibe coding I do think it's good and accessible for people to get into so yeah it's pretty cool um, I'm gonna so yeah I'm gonna finish we work today so I've got some work to do 
finish that up and then head home and see what the rest of the day brings. Yeah, yeah, I've Thanks so much for watching, if you liked the video please drop it a like, uh, drop a comment, let me know what you're up to, and what you're building at the moment, and if you like the videos please uh, consider subscribing, I'm going to keep pushing these out every week, and it's nearing my first year of doing YouTube, so uh, yeah, more to come, take care, have a good one.